Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Tiger here today, guys, bringing you a cool video um, in Forza Horizon 4. As you can see, there's the legendary Null Car, and uh, yeah, this thing is is basically a mythical beast in the uh, Forza universe for the longest time. Like, this was just like a car that you would see appear in races and like in. Uh, I don't know, like the certain screens, like if you're going to buy a car that is not available or something, or like, uh, it would just appear like randomly in random places in the older Forza games. It's kind of like a legendary mythical creature, but, uh, yeah, there's actually a way you can drive in Forza Horizon 4 if you guys didn't know this already. Um, kind of just learned this today myself because I haven't played Forza in so long, honestly. Forza Horizon 4 just started playing it again not long ago, so... I thought this was pretty sick, but yeah, here it is. Here's the Null car. It's really cool looking. It's based off a uh, Ford Falcon um, XR8, I think it's called or something. Maybe the XR8 is, I'm thinking of something else. I don't know why, but yeah, it's a Ford Falcon. It looks a lot like a Fusion though that we have in uh, North America, but it is based off a Ford Falcon. So it's pretty cool. As you can see, there's absolutely no sound to the car when you're driving it. Um, you cannot do any interior views the uh, rims glitch out, they disappear when you start driving, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a really sick car. You can fully modify this thing and drive it. Um, the only downside to this glitch, me gli bleh, glitch method is that you cannot store it in your garage, unfortunately. As you can see here, if I go into my garage, it does not show that I'm driving any car. And no matter how many times you download this thing, it will not show up in your in your cars in your garage which is unfortunate there's a regular ford falcon i just passed there a second ago but yeah it does not show up um in your garage which is really weird and at the beginning of the video there i was showing you guys i just unlocked the ford gt40 barn find and if for whatever reason when i go to view it it just shows the null car which is like a classic forza glitch that would happen a lot in the older games which kind of made the null car like infamous so but yeah here it is as you can see mine glitches out the mirror like is like transparent there on the right left side of the car it's kind of random but it's just so cool like you cannot see through the windows whatsoever they're like completely blacked out like as black as you can get them it's pretty sick um oh yeah i made a tune for this car guys 1212 horsepower um all wheel drive it's basically a, ma a max uh, speed setup max uh, good for drag racing too if you guys want to download that tune i'm um, just showing you guys there basically but uh, yeah, it helped me out a lot if you guys downloaded that, so definitely check out my tune. Um, I haven't made one just for racing this car yet, so if you guys want me to make a racing tune for it, let me know and I'll make another one. But this is just a top speed drag tune. Um, and then if you skip to around the 7 minute mark, is basically how you get this car. I'm going to show you guys that around the 7 minute mark, but just uh, for the first bit of the video here, I'm just kind of showing, showing off the car. But yeah, as you can see, or here rather... Um, with my tune and once it's fully upgraded obviously i did the v12 engine swap and uh then the car actually has engine sound which is pretty cool so you can either have it stock with no engine sound which is actually kind of unique because it's almost like an electric car but you get like spitting flames too which is kind of ironic even though it makes no sound but yeah or you could obviously tune it and then have uh, engine sound i think you can swap a v8 into it too so if you either do a v10 or v8 engine sound which is pretty sweet but uh, yeah, I'm just taking over here to the uh, highway, show you guys max speed capabilities of this thing. Um, it's really cool, like uh, you get a lot of attention from uh, other players online. They're like looking at it like, what the hell, how did you get that car? And uh, yeah, it's just pretty cool to troll your friends or whatever you want to do. I'm sure quite a few people know about this, but I'm sure there are a lot of people like me, for example, who didn't know about this, so I thought I'd just make this video quick for you guys. It is really cool. You can you can actually change the rims on this car. You can put different rims on it. Um, you cannot do any like aero or body uh, modifications. You can't put a front splitter on it or a wing. Um, the only thing you can do, like I said, is change the rims. You can't paint any parts of the car either. Um, everything just stays like completely blacked out, except for the rims. You can change the color of the stock rims and paint them whatever color you want. They look kind of random though. I really prefer the stock color. There's just like a unique like matte black that you can't you can't even get like if you were to try and replicate this you just can't so I think it's pretty unique in itself just the stock color 
Yeah, you can see how fast this thing is. It's pretty insane. You control some people and some Lamborghinis and Ferraris in this thing. Just pull them away and then all cars. So <laughs> it's pretty sick for sure. I kind of wish you could have the no engine sound even with the fully upgraded engines, but I mean it is what it is. So it's still it's still nice that we can actually drive the null car for once. Um, like you used to never be able to drive this thing unless you like modded your game files and stuff and added it in there. But yeah, as you see there, the, <laughs> the wheels go completely transparent when you start driving, which actually looks really sick. It almost looks like a like the car is hovering, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, the only downside, like I said earlier in the video, is um, you can't store the car in your garage. And every time you want to drive the null car, you have to pay 50 grand because you have to download the the um, livery file or like the design file, which actually allows you to drive the null car. Like what it basically does is it, like it'll be like, oh, do you want to equip this to your car? Which you can't obviously because the null car is like you can't buy it. So what you have to do is you you can there's an option to purchase the car with the design for 50,000 credits and then that's how you actually get the null car and then it'll just appear like in your garage and you can take it out and drive it but I'm gonna show you guys that right now basically yeah the headlights look pretty cool too they're like regular halogen lights which is pretty sick um, they look pretty nice pretty stealthy in the in the nighttime so but yeah what you go what you do is you go over to your creative hub here I'm just gonna share this is the quickest way for you guys to do it just go over to uh, I'll share. I'll show you my uh, saved livery here, my file. You guys can just copy this code or just search my gamer tag for it as well. There's my share code right there. Um, but yeah, basically just uh, type in that code or just search for Black Tiger, and then just type in Null Car under the description, and it'll come up for you guys. Um, you can you can literally also just uh, so like yeah, you see here the livery saved. And then, um, but when you actually go to do this the first time, it'll tell you to buy the livery with the car for 50000 That's like the only way you can get it to drive it. But yeah, as you see here, you can literally just search null car and there's like hundreds of them. Um, I would recommend doing mine though because I have the proper like color matched rims on it. A lot of them are different color rims, which aren't like the OG null car rims. So, but yeah, there's mine there again. And uh, yeah, it helped me out a lot, guys, if you download my design. Um, then I can rank up a little bit in uh, in the uh, design shop or whatever it's called. Um, I have some other designs, too, you guys can check out. They're not the greatest, but they're pretty decent. I made some Martini Racing designs, a couple Golf GT designs as well. I'm going to make a Golf GT design for the uh, GT40, um, the MK1 and 2, and then the... Uh, regular G4 GT 05 and then the, I've made some for the new one as well but yeah as you can see there's millions of all cars in the uh, in the shop which is pretty pretty cool um, but yeah basically guys that's about it how you get the null car um, like I said you gotta yeah let's show in your here again you can't can't uh, get in your garage I've tried so many different ways to uh, be able to actually store it in your garage, but unfortunately you can't, it's too bad. Um, but I mean, 50 grand's not bad to have some fun, like a couple hours worth of fun in the game, so... I mean, I think it is worth it for sure. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to get the Null Car. I hope I covered everything in this video, I think I did. Um, if, if you guys know a way of being able to store this in your garage, that'd be amazing. If you could share that with us, that'd be sick, and I can make a video on it and spread the word. But, uh, yeah, my next Forza video, guys, is going to be on how to make, like, millions of dollars in the uh, auction house as well. I've been making crazy money in there, but I'm kind of stupid. Like, I, I make, like, $10 million, like, in a day, but then I just go and spend it all on cars again. Because I think I'm going to, like, be able to make even more profits, but then I end up, end up not making profits. So, I don't know, it's kind of working against myself, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to get the null car and how to drive it. Um, how to customize it like I said even if you download my design file you can still customize it whatever way you want it doesn't delete the car or whatever like you can still have the null car even if you change the color of the rims or whatever so yeah it's sick you can make your own file as well but yeah that's it guys hope you enjoyed see you guys in the next one peace